loving cars and, and being in a few businesses, I ended up in the radio control car business. And I had a hobby shop that turned into a, a great business. Thankfully, it, it gave me enough money to build some of these cars, although I've used most of it up. But uh, it's made it great. And I've had five or six or seven really beautiful cars, but I don't think any of them are the quality of this 61 Chevy. I'm Gil Losey, live in Marietta, California, and the subject of this is my 61 Chevy bubble top. I've always loved cars. I'm originally from Connecticut. Uh, I was a big IndyCar fan as a kid. I'd lay on the floor and listen to the Indy 500 on the radio, which is kind of interesting because nobody in my family, I mean, I don't have any car people in my family, it's just something that, 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 that I had. My uncle in Italy raced cars and motorcycles, so maybe it came from him. When I was 16, I bought my first car, which was a 1949 Ford. And of course, I didn't have any money, but uh, I wanted to stand out then too with cars, so I got this thing so it sat right on the ground. You could take a pack of cigarettes and put them on the flatway and I could crush them. A little bit about the car. It's a 61 Chevy bubble top. It came from Oklahoma City. It was built in Oklahoma City. A builder that's built a bunch of cars for me had started on this car, and he had done a little bit, and they'd started doing the uh, metal work around the engine, and I loved it. And uh, I went back to check on one of the cars he was building for me, and I said, Where, what happened to that 61? And he said, the guy that was building it went bankrupt. I said, well, give me his phone number. And he gave me his phone number, and I called the guy, and we made a deal after going back and forth a few times. Steve Cook is the builder, and I called Steve. I said, Steve, I bought the car. He said, oh, he said, I got to get it lower now. He, you know, he, Steve has built many cars for me, and I like them all to be low. I'm a big on being low. I think stance is uh, a, a really important thing. The, the big thing it was the engine. I like cars that are a little bit different. Most of my other cars are a little bit the skew of center, I guess you'd call it. This car is a car that a lot of people do, so we wanted to do something to it to make it different than everybody else's. So we figured 2,000 horsepower would do that. I love the car, I love the build. We're still doing a couple of things to it. You know, we got a dyno yesterday on 91 octane to try to get this thing so it was drivable on the street. I drove it over there, but it was much better coming back. And uh, those guys were great, they helped me through this. They got Mike Moran on the phone from Detroit who built the motor and uh, they did a great job for me and the thing is running great now. Every piece, whether it's a, a door handle or a, uh, a shifting knob or uh, uh, something to turn the lights on off, the, or even the gauges, I mean, everything is special in this car. You know, I just love the thing. I just, I can just sit here and look at it all day long. Mm -hmm. 